One of the popular articles on my website is this article on how to display the videos of participants on your screen after you share content in a Teams meeting. Now recently, the method in that article changed due to a Teams update. So I wanna show you how it works now. You know, Teams, like all software and services, is updated regularly. Now if there's an update to the information in this video, you're gonna see a card in the top right corner of the screen. That card contains a link to the video with the latest information. If there's no card, this video that's being made in February 2023 is still current. So let me show you what's new. Now, of course, your organization may control when you get updates. So if the new method I show you in this video isn't what you're seeing on your screen, don't worry, you probably just have to wait a bit before your organization allows the latest software to update your computer. Here's what happened in the past. I'll use screenshots from the article I referenced before. When you shared content in Teams, it would minimize the Teams control window that has all the videos to a small window in the lower right corner of the screen. What you could do is you could take your cursor and click on the video that was in the middle of the minimized window to return the Teams control window to its full size. Now this worked whether you had one screen or two screens. So here's what happens now. So in Teams, I will go and share this screen here. And you'll notice it minimizes it again to a small window in the bottom. But let me zoom in on this window so we can take a look at it for a second. So you'll notice that it looks a little different. The controls for the video and the microphone are now above the video window and the stop sharing button is still there. But you'll also see in the top right corner, this double headed arrow. And that's now the button that you click on to restore the full team's controls. So the window looks a little different. It still goes down to the bottom corner. It's got that new button that you click on to again, display all the videos in the team's control window. If you have two screens, you can have your shared content on one screen and your team's control window on the other screen along with presenter view if you're using that. By the way, if you have a second laptop, you can actually use that as a second screen. I got a video on that, so I'll link to that video up here and in the description below. Now, if you only have one screen, you can share slides in reading view. So they only take up a portion of the screen and then have your team's control window take up the other part of your screen. Now, if you're not familiar with reading view, it's a great option to display your slides. I have a whole video on that. I'll link to my video up here and in the description below. So there you go. Now you know how to get back to seeing everyone's video after you share content in a Teams meeting. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so others who present in Teams meetings will find this video. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified of other videos. And again, thanks for watching.